It's Tool Review Tuesday. Roll the intro. Today I'm shopping at Home Depot looking for my saw blade. So the main reason why I'm demonstrating the Diablo blade is because I've had it in my circular saw and it's worked awesome. So now I'm ready to put it in my compound miter saw. I've owned this 12 inch DeWalt compound miter saw for many years. I can't even recall when I bought it, but it's amazing how many projects this thing has accomplished. The blade that's on there right now has been on there like way too long. As a matter of fact, sometimes when I'm cutting wood, you can see it kind of like burning in the wood or some smoke. So, and it's more of a trim blade and I'm ready to go to an all purpose blade. So the blades that I really like the best are the Diablo blades. I've tried several different brands and I've actually had in my circular saw some that warped as I was trying to cut some treated decking. Uh, there's just so many good things I can say about this. So let's go over here a minute and take this blade off. Yeah, you can see it is definitely served its purpose. It's been outside a little bit so it has some rust. All right. Time for the new blade right here. The Diablo non-stick permashield coating. New stabilizer vents for precise clean cuts. Just to be completely transparent with you, I did purchase this with my own money. So in the past, I have partnered with the Diablo company testing some of their carbide tipped heavy duty blades, extreme metal cutting. I have a comparison against the Milwaukee Torch, and now I believe they have a carbide tip, so I probably should do a follow-up video with two carbide tips side by side. And there are several reasons why I went with the Diablo blade. The price, I would say, is pretty fair. It's $35 approximately for this. It cuts hardwoods, softwoods, pressure-treated wood, plywood, and OSB. And I'm going to do a quick sample on this saw right here of each one. We'll see what the finished result looks like. Cuts like hot knife through butter. I want to go over some quick highlights that they advertise on their packaging. Extreme Durability and Cutting Life has Tico High Density Carbide. It's a titanium and cobalt mix. Less Drag Gumming and Corrosion has a Permashield coating. Clean Cuts with Advanced Stabilizer Vents. That's what those little zigzags are. Smooth and Effortless Cuts. Super Thin Curve Design. Withstands Extreme Impact. Trimetal Shock Resistant Brazing. Provides a high performance shock absorber behind every tooth. Well, that's cool. I guess that would, I had no idea about that. That little shock absorber right there, I suppose would keep the tooth from breaking off. Better, and, and it would probably give you a better cut with um, less vibration, I'm guessing. Better quality finish, precision tensioning, straight and accurate cuts, laser cut heat expansion slots. That's the other uh, question mark looking thing. There is so much that goes into a blade. It's not like when I was a kid, you just found a blade and it was all complete metal. Now there's some major technology that goes into it and I'm really excited to test it out on this DeWalt saw. So let's get started. Okay, let's try a two by four. See how the first cut goes. Nice, a little bit of splintering as you can see, but that's just a nice clean cut. Okay, it also cuts OSB. This is a quarter inch piece. Looks good. Here's a painted trim board. This might be maple actually. Possibly aspen. Nice. Here's a piece of oak molding.
very impressive. There's a piece of three quarter inch oak plywood. There's some little burrs there from cutting with my other saw. I apologize, I don't have my dust collector on the end, so we'll just have to deal with the dust for today. Very light splintering, but just a nice, here's a oak board. This is some really wide door jam. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, now the final test is some pressure tree lumber. This is a two by six. Let's see how this works. Very nice. That really came out clean. All right, so after testing this all out briefly today, I have to say that I'm very impressed with the Diablo blade. It's doing a really nice job, and it is kind of a multi-purpose, but overall, this is very thin and does a great job. If you have experience with a Diablo blade, put that down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say, or if you have any questions about it, please let me know. If you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel, as well as Tool Review Tuesday. All right, friends, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.